please subscribe med.com and for any query, comment or email. After understanding the concept of terminating and non-terminating uh, uh, numbers, we will see today that how you can uh, identify the terminating and non-terminating numbers without divi division, without di dividing them uh, to identify whether they are terminating or non-terminating. There is a rule that you have to follow in order to identify that which ones are terminating and which ones are non-terminating. Okay, according to the rule, it is stated as if the, we are talking about rational number here, if the denominator of a rational number has no prime factors other than 2 or 5, then rational number is terminating. This is the rule that you have to follow in order to identify that which rational numbers are terminating and which are non-terminating without dividing them. Otherwise, other than this rule, the given rational number will be non-terminating. Let's have an example to get the concept clear. If you will be asked to identify whether the number 9 over 7 is a, is a terminating rational number or a non-terminating number. Now, how you will identify? You will check its denominator that whether it is prime number or not. Prime number means that it is divisible by 1 and itself. So, it is a prime number. So, if it is a prime number, it means that it is a non-terminating uh, rational number. It is a non-terminating rational number. But one thing keep in mind that this will not be the case when in the, uh, when in the denominator there are 2 or 5. 2 or 5 are also prime factors. If in case we have 9 over 2 or 9 over 5, okay, then in this case, they will be terminating as per rule, okay, they will be terminating as per rule. So, 2 and 5 are exempted in this case, terminating number. So, keep in mind that whenever you find, you just first check the, the factors of the denominator. If the factors are 2 or 5, they will be terminating. And if other than that, then they will be non-terminating. Let's have one more, a few more examples and, uh, and find out whether they are terminating or not. If we are given with 5 over 8 and you, have, you will be asked to check whether it is terminating or non-terminating rather than division. So what you will do, you will check its factors as 2 into 2 into 2 and 2 is what? 2 is a prime factor. But in according to the rule, if the prime factors are 2 or 5, then they will be terminating. It means that it is terminating. Okay. One more example. We have 30 over 6. If we convert its denominator into factors, factors will be 2 into 3. Now, in this case, these are the prime factors. Yes, 2 and 3 both are the prime factors. But in this case, we are not having the prime factor 2 alone. There is also 3. So, when we have uh, uh, the prime factor other than 2 or 5 also, then they will be non-terminal. So, in this case, it is non-terminal. Okay, let's check one more example. 35 over 25. We will convert its denominator into factors. Here, the factor is 5. That means it is a terminating number. One more example like 1 over 3. As uh, we have already discussed that it is a non-terminating. Let's check is it through the rule 1 over 3. 3 is a prime factor and it is clear that it is a non-terminate. It is a non-terminate. So, this was all about how you can identify uh, the, a given rational number whether it is terminating or non-terminating through this 